Hey guys, welcome to Lost Toy Box with me, your host T Roy. How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing great. Hope you guys stay t tuned in to NFO uh, yesterday. I had great fun, great amount, of, great amount of fun that with those guys. Um, and I don't know if it's gonna be regular, but uh, make sure. Hey, if we do be listening up, we, if we do an NFO after hours, that way everybody would kind of allow more people to get in, kind of talk, just kind of BS, I guess. Uh, so today. I got a couple of things for you. We got uh, two sodas to open. And I got a Mystery Grail box to open. My last Mystery Grail box for quite a long time. And we're going to be putting some of my autographed pops in to some uh, pop armors. So, hope you guys stick around and cue intro. Okay, guys. How... how Hope you guys are doing today. So, I've just I went I bought a case of the Pop Shield armors, and as always, if when you buy in bulk, you get a better deal. So the first thing I decided I wanted to do is I wanted to get all of my autograph pops into Pop Shield armors. When I'm right now putting in here, this is Billy West, uh, Bugs Bunny, seventy piece, seven bucks a pop. And let's just go right there. You can see I got quite a few uh, autographs behind me. One thing here, I got a question for you guys. You guys can kind of help me out. I've been kind of debating. So on autograph pops, should they be all together? Or should they be like spread out throughout your collection where like they normally would belong? Like, So like I have that Looney Tunes I just have. As you can see up there on the top shelf, I have all the Looney Tunes. So should I should it go up there with that or should it stay with all the other autographs? I'm kind of curious to see what you guys think. So uh, make sure you comment below what you think. Should they stay together or not? This next one up is James Obar's The Crow. And you see where he signed it right there, and you can actually see if you get it done by him, he fixes the the ink uh, the because he don't like the way it looks, so he actually adds all his own little touches to it, which is pretty cool. Definitely easy way to tell it's actually from him and not somebody else. Okay, so what's up next? Should we do, hit the Mr. Grail box? What may be the final Mr. Grail box? Or should we hit one of these sodas? Sodas? Let's do that. So as I've been telling you guys, uh, as I open sodas from now on, I am going to weigh them. That way we can tell if there is a difference between weights on some of them that way because the main thing is like I said this is not for you to go out and rob somebody or trick or somebody but if you go to a mom and pop shop and there is a difference in weights there's a very good chance that they know that and I just want you guys to make sure you guys don't get took so we'll do that um, as far as these go and this is just the common there she is Got a cute little bag holding a thing in my bob. Um, there's the pog. One of twelve thousand five hundred. But these I've already weighed, so they weigh exactly the same. Um, I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm not sure whether or not that's going to be a big difference because I know the there's no like major difference. It's just like a different like they use like a clear so I mean maybe that's a way of telling maybe not but anyways we'll find out here in a second if this was the thing I bet you know, it's probably just the common and it is it's just the common 1,000 uh, 12,500 and these both weighed 144 uh, grams so I can tell you for a fact that these weigh that much because they both weighed exactly the same and again like I said I'm not sure okay on to the big things Mr. Grail so this is not technically Mr. Grail like I, I've stopped ordering them um, I just feel like for the money I mean it's it is a good value most of the time when you include all the other stuff you're getting but um, I'm just over the I'm, I'm over the I'm over the 
eight dollar pops, the seven dollar pops, and the, the one in a million chance that you're gonna get one a uh, Grail. I mean, it it just I bought so many of them, and to, oh, I've only pulled one one Grail myself, and it was uh, a signed pop. So I mean, that was kind of cool, but at the same time, I mean, one out of Oh my gosh, I don't even know how many I've opened, but I've opened a lot. <laughs> so many. But this is my second time I've redeemed points. Um, so this, I redeemed two different things. Um, I did not redeem the Spider-Man keychain. I redeemed the Iron Man keychain. So I'll be talking to them about that. Does it even say? Yeah, look at this. So obviously that's a quality control issue. Clearly says Spider-Man keychain, and then on this, you can clearly see, it says Iron Man helmet. And it kind of gave you away with the other thing I got, which is right here. thought this was kind of cool. It is the signed Baroness, 7 bucks a pop, 125 piece. Pretty cool. But... We're going to put this in this thing right here. Show it off a little bit better. Um, like I said, if that's not a fitting way to end my run with Mr. Grail stuff, to have an order be botched, uh, I mean, I felt like it took them forever as it was to get this thing out. And it is bent a little bit. Hmm, that sucks, but that's okay. I mean, it's a signed one. It's not going to leave my collection. But there you have her, the Baroness. Great pop, JSA certified. I always slide the certifications into the back of the pop itself because I don't like the bo pop box being blocked by anything. But there you go. There you guys have it all. Um, this uh, another video is going to be getting dropped probably tomorrow, if not Wednesday at the latest. I'm actually going to be filming it straight after this one. So if you see the shirt, I don't wear it the same day. I just film them both the same day. <laughs> Just want to make sure you guys don't think I'm out. I'm like dirty, but anyways. So oh, what do you guys think? Wait, what? Let me know what what you think about signature pops. Do they go with with the other pops that they belong with, or do they belong on by, by themselves? And uh, what you what are your thoughts on Mr. Grail? Like I said, I mean this. I mean Spider Man, Iron Man. I mean it's clearly set. I uh, I don't know. I just I, I just I just feel like that sums up my whole experience with Mr. Grail. Um, not quite what you want, but they're right there on the cusp. But anyways, you guys, I hope you guys are taking good care of each other out there. Um, make sure you know, you're helping each other out. You're doing what you can do to help the community and help each other. And as always, remember, collect yourself, collectors, you guys have a good day.